everyone, so we've talked manga versus comics before, and now I'm going to talk digital comics versus physical comics. Ooh, more discussions. Get ready to fight in the comments section. I actually wanted to do this video a while ago, but it, I got caught off doing reviews. I don't even like doing reviews, you know that? Every once in a while, I'll get somebody who comes up to me and says that, oh, Web comics are, be are better than the current comics coming out. And I'll be like, I don't know about that. And then I'll, then I'll get like somebody coming up to me and saying, oh, digital comics are gonna take over and physical comics are just gonna be gone for good. You gotta look for the future. You gotta stop selling physical comics and just sell the digital. And I'll be like, that. Now granted, there aren't that many differences between a comic when it's digital versus a comic when it's actually in your hand. It's virtually the same pictures, same quality, same story. The only difference is one you hold on your phone or Kindle and one you hold and flip through. So whichever one you like really depends on your preference on how you like to read comics. Web comics, on the other hand, a little bit of a different story. Webcomics are a little bit fucking weird. Now, don't let this discussion just be one-sided. I think you already know which opinion I'm gonna lean on here, but I do have to say there are some pros to having a comic digital. For instance, you don't have to worry about where to store it in your fucking room. I see people with these bookshelves covering up- Now granted, I actually have a really big room. I, I have the master bedroom of the house. I didn't bully my parents to get it, they just don't want to have a bedroom upstairs, so I got the master bedroom, don't look at me like that. But I see like these YouTubers who have eight different bookshelves just filled with comic books in, in the background of their videos. Now I have a little corner over there where I just stuffed all my comic books. I cannot confirm if they are in good condition. But granted, it's a lot easier to store something digital than it is to have something physical that you have to actually carry around with you whenever you move. Can you imagine what it's like to, to ask a friend, hey, can you help me move? They come into your room and they see like four different bookshelves filled with comic books. But that's a very minor thing, honestly, because it can, it takes up space on your phone and or your Kindle or your laptop. God forbid you download digital comics on your laptop. To me, that just sounds insane. I would never, I would never want to go through time to create a file called comics and organize all my all, all the comics that I download and there's an app on my phone or if it's on my Kindle because that way it'll just automatically organize them for me I don't have to worry about it now another pro to getting digital comics is you don't have to worry about the quality decaying on you you get a lot of Marvel comics the ink rubs off in your fingers you curse at the wind or maybe you're storing all your comics in a chest and they start ripping because you're kind of just stuffing them in a cube. You don't have to worry about that when you have it on digital. It'll always be the same quality no matter how long you look at it. Granted, the convenience of being able to pull up your phone and just bring up a comic, look at a pan- If you want to like show somebody this panel of a comic, oh my gosh, it's so funny, you gotta see this, blah, 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 and then you can just show them. And you always carry a phone around you. It's like a necessity at this point. So you always have your phone around you. You're not always carrying your comics around you. You don't you don't you don't have a backpack to hold the four bookshelves. But I'm not the best at making an argument for digital comics. Basically, it's a convenience factor, but it's also if you like reading it that way. I personally don't really like the scrolling as opposed to actually holding the page and turning it. It's just not my thing. And I think that the majority of people like having, like owning something physical that they can have in their hands and that they can like show off on their bookshelves. And I like, I, I also think people like going to the comic book stores because they can actually look through the pages before they buy it to see if it's something that they would like. Or they can they just straight up read it in the store and if they like it, they buy it. 
<laughs> I'm guilty of doing that a few times. You can't really do that with digital comics though, because uh, at best they'll give you a free preview, uh, but then it's just like the first two pages, and I don't really think you can decide if you're gonna like something based on the first two pages, but it's not, it's not like they're gonna let you scroll through the pages, because then why would you buy it? It's the same thing with DVDs and movies. Like, almost everything is either streamed on your television, or it's in the theaters. And that's the majority of what you watch. Some houses don't even have DVD players anymore. Like, I go there, not a DVD player, but they still have DVDs. Why, you may ask? Why are they still selling DVDs when everything is being streamed now or in the theaters? Because people like to own it, to show that they enjoyed it. They, they, it's almost like validation. Validation that they've watched this movie and they like it and they want to show it off. <laughs> it's like, it's the same thing with like the, the statues. I mean, the statues are really, really cool. I, I like them. But the idea is you buy it because you like what it's, you like the, the thing that it's from and you want to show that you like it. It's like the pop figures. There's no point to having those pop figures unless you're a child and you're like, playing with them and actually like social skills you know but if you're an adult and you're just gonna have those pop figures around for show then then you're just you're buying it for the same reason you're buying it just because you like the show and you want to show that you like the show it's like a decoration around your house to prove your nerdiness you don't really get that with digital comics because they're all securely on on your phone or kindle Granted, I wouldn't want to share my hentai with, with the world. So that also depends on what kind of comics that you would like digitally. And I think it's kind of weird that I'm arguing for physical comics over digital, considering that most of the comics I've read have been online. Not just, not just web comics, but actual like comics that have been digitalized online. Got scanned comics, basically. Now, and I think a lot of people, when they can't find a comic book in the store, they'll just find it online and read it on there. But the problem with that is, I read them illegally. If you're reading something that has been posted online, not from the, the legal owners of it, but just from someone who bought the comic, scanned the pages, and put it online, like what, you're reading it off of Kiss Comic, and you just scroll on through, and you're like, hmm, the problem with that is, you're not actually giving them any money. You're, you're reading good comics for free. I binged all of, basically all of the Jeff Johns Titans um, comic books online. I, I binged all of the mass comics online. I binged so many comic book series online when I was when I was much younger, and I don't even remember some of them. But granted, if you prefer reading comic books online then you can't read them illegally online. Granted, everything is better when it's free, but you're not going to actually move the market into the digital comic era if you're reading them illegally, because it only goes to show that you're not willing to pay for it. And I would think that digital comics would be less money than physical comics, considering that they don't have to spend any money to print it. Granted, they already don't spend that much printing money to print these comics. Like they're not, they're not, you're, they're not actually. You, how much do you think this paper is worth? It's not worth that much. They're not actually spending that much to print and get these comics out there. But granted, they spend less money when they just upload it digitally. And I would think that the price of those digital comics would reflect that. They're usually roughly the same price, which also does not encourage digital comic book sales. <laughs> if they were cheaper, then I'd be like, hey, I'll try it out for a while. I'll, I'll, I'll get the Kindle app or whatever, and I'll try it out for a while. I'll see how it works. I'll see how it fits my fancy. But if they're gonna be the same price anyway, then I'll just stick to what I know. And don't even get me started on the motion comics. Hey guys, you want to read GIFs? No! Nobody in the history of time ever, ever stared at a GIF for more than a second before getting annoyed with it. I can't. I can't do it. For those of you who don't know, motion comics are exactly what they sound like. They're comic, but digital comics with effects put on them. 
so that they actually move and they're like gifts they make a movement and then they repeat that movement and then they repeat that movement and it just goes on for eternity i have yet to this day seen a motion comic done correctly it's always annoying every single time you ever see like those photographs these these incredible photographers they go out and they take these photographs at the right moment right when the when the bird is spreading its wings and then it gets it captures that moment right well in motion comics you don't get that moment you just get this <laughs> the whole point of photography and illustration is that you capture one moment and you look at it and you analyze it and you get to see all these details that you wouldn't notice if it were moving and the motion the, the motion comics just takes that factor away and throws it in the trash if you like motion comics that's fine I think that they are abhorrent. And it's always, it's it's so heartbreaking when you see like newbies doing motion comics and they, oh, and they go, get to a panel where it's like this fight scene and they decide, hey, you know what will make this fight scene really cool? If I add a strobe light effect. Meanwhile, I'm over here having a seizure like, it's a really good fight scene. Strobe light effects are the devil. And then you also have like those comics where they have the music playing in the background. That, it, it, especially when the music has lyrics to it, has actually somebody singing, that makes it so much harder for me to read. I can't read while somebody's talking. Like maybe, maybe if there's like instrumental in the background, it's sort of okay. But if I don't like the song, then that's a problem. If, if, if I'm reading a comic and then there's just this song playing in the background that I don't like and I'm like, ugh. Obviously, I'm going to mute it, but I, and they have that option to mute. I mean, of course, it's on it's all digital. Of course, you'll have the option to mute it. What's the point of it being there if the majority of people are just going to mute it anyway? And then when you have actual lyrical songs, I'm trying to read this book, and then I have someone singing in my ear, and your love will last forever. They're, they're trying to do something fancy smancy with digital comics to make it pop out, to give people a reason to buy the digital comics and I just I don't think they're going in the right direction. I think if you make digital comics cheaper, uh, more they're already a little bit more a little bit more convenient. I still I still would never download a digital comic onto my laptop. And I don't I don't think the majority of people own Kindles, so they'll have to also download an app to go with because if you download it without an app, then you're just going to have the file on your phone. And sometimes that doesn't work out really great with some phones. It's especially not convenient when the power goes out and, and everything's dead. <laughs> Once again, a more better reason to do it. Well, I guess if your phone isn't charged, then that's also kind of bad. Anyway, the following problems that I have listed, I think are the reason why digital comments have stagnated as of recently, and they're not, they're not going up. People keep on thinking digital comics are the future, all these physical comics are gonna go away, but the problem is they're not rising in sales at all. So here we have some comic book sources, and let's see, sales, ah, sales by format. So graphic novels, are super duper high, 570 million, Jesus. I better get into the graphic novel business. <laughs> sales like those. All right, and then comic books, comic book sales actually went down from 2016. I think it was 400 million. It went down to 355 million. It dropped and you know, I think that has to do with the political climate naturally. And digital comics have stayed at 90 million now. I don't think I have to explain that 90 million is significantly less than 355 million. Granted, digital comics at 90 million are surefire sales. It hasn't gone down from 2016. Uh, it was at 90 million and it still is at 90 million. Comic book sales have gone down by uh, about 45 million, but digital comics are doing about the same. But you also can't make the case that the reason why comic books are going down is because digital comic books are going up because 90 million 90 million is exactly the same they didn't gain 45 million from comic book sales going down it just stagnated and as you can see um across time it's basically the same 
it's been the same for the past few years. And granted, we don't have 2018 numbers yet, but I don't think that they've risen at all in 2018. If anything, I think comic book sales have definitely gone up. Different publishers, different comic books, new stuff that uh, people are going to be putting their money towards. I hear you guys in the background say, Dan Fan, I thought you were going to talk about web comics. So I wanted to save web comics for like the end of this because it's like, um, it's, it's very different from comic books, web comics are. I think maybe it would fit in a different video, maybe like web comics versus comics rather than all three of them verse each other in this. And this video has already gone on for long enough, I feel like. So yeah, maybe I'll save comics versus web comics for a different video. Let me know if you want to see that. Anyway, make sure you put down what you think in the comics. Oh God, I keep on, I keep on. <laughs> I said comics so many times in this video and now it's all I can say. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Super special, awesome shout out to my patrons who are amazing in every way. Thank you for supporting me while I have consistently no ads on my videos. And I hope you guys will stick around to see the absent-minded plot which I'm planning to release this week, probably tomorrow considering all the other days I'll have to do reviews. So definitely stick around for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Program restart.